The RV investigator's latest mission will focus on a climatic force field in the Southern Ocean. Like a big dam, so it's, it's holding back the heat to the north and, and allowing Antarctica to stay cold. The Antarctic circumpolar current acts like a barrier around the icy continent, but scientists are worried that as the ocean warms, swirling eddies are opening up gateways for warm water to flow towards the polar region. It's leaky in a few places and it's always been leaky, but we're seeing more heat coming through in recent times. Significant reductions in sea ice have been well documented this year and these scientists want to know how the circumpolar current is adding to the problem. If you get this warm water towards Antarctica, it starts to melt the glaciers and then we have runaway of ice melting into the ocean and rising the sea level. Once the ship departs Hobart, it'll head to one of the heat transfer zones about halfway between here and Antarctica. Among the 54 people on board, 20 scientists and 14 support staff will be split into two teams, conducting research 24 hours a day over the next month. They'll be using high-tech devices that can monitor the ocean's temperature, velocity and turbulence. And then we do sampling with instruments we deploy from the ship and with instruments we tow behind the ship. The deep water data will be used in combination with high definition ocean topography images captured by a revolutionary new satellite. Being able to pair that surface view from the SWAT satellite with what we can measure with our, with our instruments gives us a three dimensional picture. A picture of a climate change issue that has global repercussions. Jono Gibson, ABC News.